A soldier has been shot dead, a civilian injured at Bestbrook in County Armagh. Police find the body of a prison officer allegedly linked to Whitemore escape. And nurses begin balloting as the terms of reference of the commission are agreed. Good evening. A soldier has been shot dead and a woman civilian injured at Bestbrook in County Armagh. A British Army spokesman said the soldier was hit by a single high-velocity bullet. The woman was struck by the ricochet. She's being treated at Daisy Hill Hospital in Newry. Her condition isn't known. The attack happened at about half past six at a permanent security checkpoint. And we're going first to Michael O'Kane, who's in Bestbrook. Michael, what's happening there? is now swamped with uh, British Army troops to follow up, up operation is well underway. The shooting happened at about half past six this evening and as you said the soldier was hit by one high velocity round as he was manning a permanent security checkpoint on Green Road which is on uh, the outskirts of Bestbrook village in South Armagh. Now the passing female motorist she was injured by a ricochet from the bullet both were rushed to Daisy Hill Hospital in Newry, where the soldier was pronounced dead. The woman's been treated, I understand, for head injuries in the casualty department there, so the fact that she's been treated in casualty would at this stage indicate that her injuries aren't too serious. A nine-year-old boy and a woman were also treated for shock. Now, this type of attack uh, has been seen here before in South Armagh between uh, 1992 and the IRA ceasefire of September 1995. Nine British Army soldiers were killed in similar attacks. That would be high-velocity bullets, a single one. Michael, thank you for that. The Taoiseach has condemned the shooting of the soldier. In a statement, Mr. Bruton described the killing as an outrage. He said the IRA campaign was anti-Irish and contrary to the interests of all in Ireland. And he called on the political parties to isolate the gunmen by demonstrating a real will to make political compromise. And we're going over now to our Belfast studio, to our, to our northern editor, David Davenpower. David, the first fatality since the Peepville attack in October, how do you read its significance? I think this is a highly significant escalation of the IRA campaign that's been ongoing in Northern Ireland since that at attack in Thiepval and of course has been ongoing for just a fraction over a year now since the bomb in Docklands in London. What we've seen in the recent past is uh, the steady escalation of their campaign, the use of coffee jar bombs, roadside mortars, small arms fire in the case of the attack on Nigel Dodds and his bodyguards and now uh, really one of the most feared weapons in the IRA's armory and that's the, the sniper who has killed this soldier tonight with a single bullet in Bestbrook in County Armagh. Uh, now there is uh, unfortunately a, a, a depressing logic to the fact that this campaign has escalated to this point and it also does underline and endorse what the security forces have been saying that this is no phony war and it certainly backs up the IRA's statement last week to that very effect. And uh, what do you think are the implications now for the Loyalist ceasefire? I think that the implications in the short term for the Loyalist ceasefire are, are, are worrying but probably uh, not lethal in the sense that uh, for the foreseeable future uh, the Loyalist ceasefire will probably hold uh, in the sense that there will be no statement from the combined Loyalist military command. However, in the past, uh, in the case of IRA attacks, there has been a retaliation from Loyalist paramilitaries in a measure-for-measure measure, uh, way in the sense that they have been very uh, graduated in their response. Uh, it remains to be seen what measure they choose to respond to this attack with. David, thank you for that. And in further reaction, the Fianna Foy leader, Bertie Ahern, condemned what he called this escalation of violence, which he ser said served no purpose whatever. The PD leader, Mary Harney, said the killing was utterly depressing to all who had fought for peace. Police in Cambridgeshire believe that the